Movie Pass, a popular movie ticket subscri subscription service, admits it's looking at ways to gather private information on its more than 2 million users. Last week, CEO Mitch Lowe said, we watch how you drive from home to the movies, we watch where you go afterwards, we know all about you. The company says the comments were meant to be, well, jovial. Jamie Ucas is in Los Angeles with why privacy advocates are not so amused. Jamie, good morning. Good morning. For about $10 a month, MoviePass users can see a movie a day at participating theaters. Now, while that may sound like a great deal, it turns out that you may also be giving up part of your privacy to use the service. MoviePass is often described as Netflix for moviegoers and makes money by collecting subscription fees. The company now says location-based marketing could help it generate more revenue. During a forum called Data is the New Oil, How Will MoviePass Monetize It?, CEO Mitch Lowe reportedly said, We get an enormous amount of information. You are being tracked in your GPS by the phone. Lowe no, also spoke not, about the importance of data mining in this interview last week. It's a real big part, and, and the way we will use it is to help the studios know who should watch, who wants to watch a particular film. It's not a pass, it's spyware. Jamie Court, president of Consumer Watchdog, says people can limit how much personal information their mobile phones reveal by changing the settings on their location services. Why is it a problem for MoviePass to know where we're at? We're signing up for free movies, and this just shows there are no free movies. It's probably about the restaurant that you to beforehand and how you got to that restaurant and how you're getting home from the movie. Exactly. It's ka-ching, ka-ching. That's how this company is going to make money. MoviePass is the latest tech company to face a backlash over data collection. After a public outcry in August, Uber said it would stop tracking riders for up to five minutes after their trip ended. In December, we reported on Google Home and Amazon Echo. Consumer Watchdog warned they could become listening devices, a claim both companies denied. It almost feels a little bit like Big Brother-ish. Data is the lifeblood of so much of Silicon Valley. Wired editor-in-chief Nicholas Thompson, a CBS News contributor, says tech companies collect personal information not only to make money, but also to make their services more efficient for customers. And the problem is that a lot of these companies that are getting our data aren't, I don't know, totally clear, totally honest, totally open about it. So that's a big issue. The company's privacy policy says it doesn't collect location information until a theater is selected. A company spokesperson told CBS News it will never sell that data. And MoviePass did update its iOS app overnight, and it says that it now removes unused app location capability. But the company says the app operates the same way as it did yesterday and that users will not notice a difference. Nora.